Hello and welcome to Back to Coding. Today we'll be talking about Kotlin's advanced control flow. Before you get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that whenever I publish a video, you get notified instantly about it. In the previous video, we saw basic control flow. In this video, we'll see advanced control flow. First, we'll talk about a very good feature of Kotlin, which is ranges. Range is nothing but an interval between two values. So with the help of range, we can generate our own set of values on or between the specified range. Again, there are two types, closed range and half open range. Closed range is used something like this, where the range goes from zero to 20 inclusive. That means the numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, five till 20. And in half open range, we use until keyword. It is used like this where the range goes from 0 up to 19, not including 20. That means the numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3 till 19. With dot dot and until operators, we can have a range in increasing order. But what if we want it in decreasing order? So in such scenarios, we have down to, with the help of which we create a range in decreasing order. Here the range will include 20, 19, 18, 17, 16 till 0. Let's see them practically. As you can see here, we are getting the values from 0 till 20. Here we are getting the values only till 19. And here we are getting the values from 20 all the way down to 0. Second, we will see another type of loop which is very commonly used several times that is for loop. For loop iterates through the entire set of values in the specified range. The syntax for for loop is mentioned here. So for loop starts with the for keyword followed by a variable which acts as a constant. Here we have item followed by in keyword and then we mention the range in which it loops which here is collection. For example, As we can see here, the loop has worked properly and we have got our answer. Here what exactly is happening is with the help of for loop, we go through the range starting with 1 till the value of the variable loop till, which in our case is 20. So in the first iteration, i's value will be 1 and for each iteration, that is for each cycle, the value of i will be incremented by 1 until it is equal to the value of loop till and then it will be finished and inside the loop we are adding the value of i to the add numbers variable. So addition goes like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus till 20 which is 210 as we are getting here. You can use down to keyword in for loop as well where loop will start from 20 till 0. Let's see it practically. As you can see here, the loop starts from 20 all the way to 0 and again it gives us the same output.
continue statement is used when you want to exclude a particular iteration from for loop continue statement skips the current cycle this is how it is used let's say you want to print even numbers then with the use of continue keyword we can print them let's see it practically Here we have successfully printed even numbers from 1 to 20. Break keyword breaks the loop completely and stops from further running. Let's see it practically. Here as you can see when n comes to fourth iteration it breaks because of the condition mentioned here. When is a replacement for switch operator of C like languages? Similar to switch in other languages you have when in Kotlin. Here's how it is used. when matches its argument against all branches sequentially until some branch condition is satisfied. When can be used either as an expression or as a statement. When used as an expression. If it is used as an expression, the value of the satisfied branch becomes the value of the overall expression. Make a note that if when is used as an expression, the else branch is mandatory when used as a statement. If it is used as a statement, the values of individual branches are ignored. First, we will practically see when used as an expression. So this is how we use when as an expression. The else branch is evaluated if none of the other branch conditions are satisfied. Now let's see when used as a statement. Here we have used when as a statement. You can also use when expressions for data types other than integers as well. Here's an example. As you can see here we have used string as a data type. So when we have back to coding as channel name it shows subscribe to it immediately. Otherwise it shows please subscribe to back to coding as well. In the previous video we saw if else if else ladder so we can use when expressions for handling if else ladder instead of having multiple else clauses we can use advanced when expressions let us see them practically Now again we can simplify the existing code with the help of ranges.
which is definitely a better approach of writing code. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and comment down your thoughts below. Don't forget to check my other videos which can be helpful to you.